Mm -hmm. okay. All right, so I'm here facing this very big wall in front of me, and I'm gonna wanna get it out, up and up over the lip as fast as I can. So in order to do that, I'm gonna have to open the face of this club to add a little more loft. What I mean by that is if I'm going straight, this would be a square club face. I'm gonna take that toe and push it back and open it up. And that's gonna add loft to the club, A, and B, it's also gonna help me use the bounce of the club. And the bounce is this fat part on the bottom of it, and that actually is designed to help splash the sand and get it up faster. And if the reason you don't wanna use this leading edge is it's gonna dig. So if you look at that, how it's digging versus if you use the bounce, it's really gonna kind of splash off. And so the big thing is that when I open this club face to add the loft to get it up over the lip, now it's kind of pointed out to the right. So in order to counteract that, I need to open my stance to kind of counterbalance that so I hit it straight. And then the last thing is your tendency, your natural tendency is to kind of try and help the club up and when you do that, you're gonna bottom out too early and you're gonna dig and it's not gonna get up. So you really wanna just maintain square, sh square shoulders and just let the bounce of the club do, do what it's designed to do. So I'm gonna open that up really gonna big. Hold, I'm gonna open my stance. Really quick. What's that? Hold. Gonna hold it, yep. And John, if you can just come right here for me. Sure. Sorry. Okay. Just give more of that. Sure, no problem. So Mark, is there a point where you, is that the, 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 the uh, point of impact in the sand where you hit, is there, is it any different when you're at a, uh, having a steeper? No, um, you pretty much want to hit about an inch behind the ball all the time. And that way we play so many different types of bunkers and some of them are going to have a ton of sand. Some of them aren't going to have much. Some of them are going to have really thick, some right. are going to have really thin. But if you hit it an inch behind consistently, it's just kind of like easier to travel with rather than trying to dictate mm -hmm. whatever. Got it. Um, so yeah, so I'm always, I, I'm still looking at the ball. I think a lot mm -hmm. of people learning, you know, they'll do kind of tricks like, oh, dep uh, picture there's a hundred dollar bill under the ball and you want to kind of scoop that out or just look at a piece of sand an inch behind the ball, whatever you want to do when you're learning. Mm -hmm. But for me, I just, I look at the ball and I trust that I'm just going to hit an inch behind it every time. So. When you're ready, huh? So yeah, so I'm going to open that club face up. I'm going to open my stance to counteract it. I'm going to keep my balance mm -hmm. pretty level throughout the swing. And I'm almost going to try and hit it with the heel of this so that I really get the loft on that. <laughs> Just amazing. <There> we go. <laughs> let's see. Let's see how high up here we can get and still get it out. <laughs> This would be a really bad break. <laughs> I think I can still, I'm really going to open it up. Ready? Yep. Wow. <laughs>